Hey there, it's Brian from brandstack.co and today I'm gonna walk you through the different customizations available for our section call to action button. So we are here on the back end of our website. This is after the section has already been installed and we're going to click online store over here on the left which will automatically themes section and then we're going to click customize on the theme that you want to play around with and then it's going to bring up the customizer we're going to go to the page where we want to add this section in this case we're going to go to the our work this is kind of our portfolio page and you'll see it shows uh, some cool work that we've done but at the very bottom we want to add a little section that says and much more uh, with a link to schedule a call with us so over here on the left now is all of the different sections that make up this page. We're going to click add section and we're going to look for CTA, which stands for call to action button. And it's going to add it by default down here at the bottom. Now this is very similar to rich text, which is built into almost every theme, um, but it comes with a little bit more customization. You have a little bit more control over um, heading colors and all that kind of stuff. And you can also add a gradient to your buttons, which is really cool and makes it stand out. So at this point now over here on the right, we can change all of the customizations available for this uh, section. So we're going to start off by playing around with the background color. Now we use this light gray on our website uh, and we'll probably go with something like that for the background color. And then we can play around with the heading and we're going to say and much, much more uh, because again, we're kind of showing off some of our work that we've done here. We're going to increase the heading size. We're gonna to go to about 40. And at this point, if you wanted, you could play around with um, heading color and stuff like that. Uh, maybe we'll leave that purple for now, kind of on brand with us. And then we have the option to add some text here. Uh, and we could say, are you ready to get started? Uh, and at this point we could change the text color here as well if we wanted. We could go red, yellow, blue. We're going to keep it black. Um, and then we have the option to start playing around with our button. So first of all, we're gonna to go to a link. We're gonna insert a link to our schedule a call page. Schedule a call. And then we can change the label or the text that is on the actual button. And we're gonna say, let's talk with a little arrow. And then we have the option if we want to open this link in a new tab. In this case, I'm not going to because the call to action is taking them somewhere that I actually want them to go on my website. If I was taking them off website, I would use this option simply so they don't actually leave my website. Uh, but for now, we're gonna leave that unchecked. And then we can start playing with the color, the button, the border radius of our button itself. Now by default, it is black with this uh, dark gray hover effect. Um, and we can, we can start by, well, let's, let's start by increasing the thickness of the uh, border. Um, because without changing that, this would do nothing. So we've we've changed our border thickness, which is just a line that goes around the button itself. And then we could change the color of it. Let's say we wanted it to be yellow. So now you can see this nice uh, yellow border around the button itself. And we can increase the, the thickness of that border or decrease it. Um, and I'm gonna leave it for now just to kind of show you the differences. So button color is the actual color of the button now. Um, and you'll see that it changes on hover, but we'll get to that in just a minute. So that's what it looks like when it's not being hovered on. Now we also have the option to override those colors by clicking this, and that would open up the, the gradient background for the button. Now in this case, it's still using this, this uh, border color, but if we want, we could get rid of the border. So we now have a zero pixel border and we're just using this gradient. Now we can come in here, we could change the colors of this gradient. Um, obviously that's very ugly, but uh, we're just playing around with it for now. So we could go something like this and make this darker here to kind of have a, a fun little effect on it. So, um, and then you have the option to change the button text color. Now this applies whether you, you're using the gradient or not. So let's say we want the button text to be yellow. You'll see that it's there on the gradient, but if I get rid of the gradient, it is still yellow. So that applies no matter what. 
Now, going back to the border, if we had this border here, we can then start playing around with the button border hover color. So when we hover, let's say we want it to turn red. So we can click that red and now you'll see when I hover, the border changes to red. And then the button hover color, uh, again, we're gonna, we're gonna click out of button gra gradient here for a minute, um, but the button hover color is referring to the color you see when you hover over it. So let's say we wanted it to be yellow. So right now it's purple and yellow, but when I hover, it is red and yellow. Um, and again, if we, if we were using the button gradient, we can then use a separate, gra a separate gradient on hover. So uh, let's say we click that and now when we hover, it shows the second gradient again with the border hover colors as well. So you, as you can see, there are a ton of options here. It, don't worry, it's not that complicated. Uh, once you start playing around with it, you will, you will understand. Um, and then when, when you check this, you do have the option to change the, actually it's whether it's checked or not, the text hover color, uh, you can change that as well. So let's say we wanted it red. So as you can see, all those customizations start taking place. And then the last thing you can play around with is the radius of the button. So you can make it a pill, you can make it a perfect square. We like to keep things at around 10 pixels on our buttons uh, just to kind of match the vibe of the rest of the store. So I've shown you the customizations. Now I'm actually gonna go through it and do what I want to do on my own website. So I'm going to get rid of the border. I'm not going to use a gradient and I am going to have the button text color as white. And then for hover, I'm going to have um, a slightly darker purple. So I'll just go slightly darker here. Um, oh, let's see, what did I do? Button border hover color. So that's for, the, that's for the border, sorry. So the button hover color, we're gonna go slightly darker purple here. We're going to keep the text color to be white and it'll just be a nice, subtle, darker color here. Um, and then the final couple of settings here are section alignment. You can have it left, you can have it center, you can have it right. You can hide it on desktop or you can hide it on mobile and you can make the section full width if you'd like. In this case, it doesn't change much because our text is very narrow, but if we added a lot of text here, making it full width would make it go uh, edge to edge on the screen. Um, and then the final uh, thing we can play with is top padding, which is padding here and bottom padding down here. Now we like to keep our padding at 72 on the bottom and about 72 at the top. So there you have it. That is uh, the call to action section that I have added to my website. Like, like you've seen, there's a ton of different options here. Uh, you can really make it stand out and match your brand. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy it.